Good morning to everyone. Our research focuses on the influence of environmental factors on pre-discrimination of bait attracted white sharks from gas by South Africa. The white shark, Carcarodon carcarias, is an expedient species to study the shark predatory behavior thanks to the ease with which it can be observed attacking and feeding on pinniped colonies close to rocky highlands where sharks aggregate. Predator-prey interactions can be influenced by the environmental factors and depend on the sensory capabilities of a predator and its prey. In fact, environmental factors drive the shark's ability to detect the prey, the latter's ability to avoid the attack, behavioral patterns and the activity peaks of predators while in the marine ecosystems. There are several studies that focus on white shark's surface predatory behavior and on the passive predisrimination on of white sharks when bait attracted, but few studies describe the influence of environmental factors on predator prey interactions and never when they are bait attracted, and this is the first case. In fact, uh, the present research extends previous work of Micarelli et al. 2021 about passive prey discrimination in surface predatory behavior of bait attracted white sharks from gas by South Africa, where from 230 predator prey interactions between 2008 and 2013, both immature and mature white sharks would be attracted from the sea shaped decoy rather than the tuna bait, except for the years 2008 and 2011. And now the question is, are there some environmental factors that could have influenced the choice of the passive prey showed by bait attracted white sharks from Gas Bay, and in particular prove the influence of environmental factors on the prey choice over the time, highlights uh, the main environmental factors taking the white sharks to prefer the seal shaped decoy instead of the tuna baits over the time. Data collection about predator-prey interactions and environmental factors was performed at Dyer Highland Nature Reserve in Gasby, South Africa, between 2008 and 2013 and between March and May, for a total of 247 hours of effort. We used the boat Barracuda equipped with a shark cage and we used the charm to attract the sharks, reproducing a scavenging situation. We used two different passive target preys, an odorous boy floating tuna bait and an odorless seal-shaped decoy, both of similar size, placed at 10 meters one from each other, giving the sharks the possibility to choose the prey. All the sharks were identified and all the exhibited behaviors were recorded. Environmental uh, factors have been annotated every three hours from the arrival until the end of the daily observations. And we took the following environmental factors. Tide ranges expressed in high or low were obtained by the Winguru database for Claim Bay area. Water temperature expressed in Celsius degrees was obtained by the echo sounder of the boat. Underwater visibility expressed in meters was obtained by the disco secchi. Light levels expressed in octas or in how many eighths of the sky are covered by the clouds uh, were recorded by the same operator considering from 0 to 2 octas a clear sky, from 3 to 5 octas a partially covered sky and from 6 to 8 octas a totally covered sky. Sea conditions at the end expressed in waves height in centimeters were obtained by the Winguro database for Claim Bay Hare, and we considered calm sea if waves high was between 0 and 10 centimeters, slightly roof if waves high was between 10 and 250 centimeters, and roof if waves high was higher than 250 centimeters. About the statistical methodology, we used a three-level step approach labeled three-step system multivariate classification. We used Permanova to prove that shark spray preference is affected by environmental factors varying over the time. We used a logit regression to highlight the main environmental factors taking the white sharks to prefer the seal shaped decoy. And at the end, we used the marginal effects to assess in order of importance the major predictors affecting uh, the prey preferences over the time. 
About the first step, the Permanova test, as we can see from the results, all the predictors were significant except the underwater visibility, and uh, light levels expressed in octas were significant just at 5%. Per cent, and the pseudo F statistic was low. That means that a problem of multiple linearity would matter since underwater visibility and octas are strictly correlated. For that reason, we decided to uh, drop off uh, the octas and run a new Permanova test. And as we can see from the results, all the predictors were significant. And that means that prey preference is affected by environmental factors varying over the time. About the second step, the logit regression test to highlight the main environmental factors taking the white sharks to prefer the seal shaped decoy. As we can see from the results, all the predictors were significant and positively correlated with the prey choice, except the one that, that was the underwater temperature. For instance, with better sea conditions, with high tide, with better underwater visibility and with cooler water, sharks prefer the seal shaped decoy. If we see the magnitude of the model, the most important factors that drive the sharks to make the prey choice are in decreasing order. Tide ranges, underwater visibility, underwater temperature and sea conditions. About uh, the third step, the marginal effects uh, to assess in order of importance the major predictors affecting uh, the prey preferences over the time, as we can see from the results, all the predictors were significant. And for instance, a one unit change associated with an observation increasing the probability of preferring seal shaped decoy by 61% with high tide, 55% with better underwater visibility, 51% uh, with cooler underwater temperature and 49% with better sea conditions. But we need to deepen the marginal effects since in two years, 2008 and 2011, white sharks prefer the tuna bait instead of the seal shaped decoy. In particular, in 2011, from 63 total sightings, 63 were characterized by low tides, and we also observed the highest underwater temperature and one of the worst underwater visibility. At the same time, in 2008, from 30 total sightings, 25 were characterized by low tides. And also we observed the worst underwater visibility, but uh, the coolest uh, underwater temperature. But we remember that uh, tide ranges are the most important factors that drive the sharks to make uh, uh, the prey choice. So it's uh, true that environmental factors affect the prey choice and factors influencing the prey discrimination are in decreasing order tide, underwater visibility, water temperature and sea conditions. With high tide, sharks prefer the seal-shaped decoy, since the minimum depth from which sharks could approach seals is closer to shore, making seals to get into the water, increasing the sharks' attacks. About underwater visibility, uh, with the better one, vision plays an important role in mature and immature white sharks with dietary shift in their feeding pattern driving the sharks to choose the most energetical prey following the theory of the optimal foraging. About uh, water temperature, since white shark is an endothermic animal, this environmental factor affects uh, its predistribution rather than its physiology. In fact, with warmer water, sharks prefer the tuna bait, since warmer water results in blunts of diatoms that are associated with an increasing of teleos tuna included that are in turn prey of white sharks and with a decrease of underwater visibility. About sea conditions, they were in mean slightly roof, except in 2013 and 2011 uh, when they were calm, and we know that sea conditions uh, have an effect on underwater visibility. With better sea conditions, we have a better underwater visibility. But in 2011, uh, we uh, recorded a, uh, a calm sea, but uh, with just uh, low tide heavens. And we remember that uh, tide ranges are the most important factors that drive the sharks to make the choice of the prey. 
In 2008, we recorded the roughest, the lowest underwater visibility with more low tide heavens, and it's clear that in, in this year, sharks preferred the tuna bait. In conclusion, environmental factors influence the white shark's ability to discriminate the passive prey. In fact, the choice of seal-shaped decoy is related to high tide heavens, good underwater visibility, cooler water temperature, and slightly rough or calm sea. All these conditions highlight the importance of both mature and immature white sharks' visual ability to detect the prey. Further investigation will be on other environmental factors that could influence uh, the prey choice of the white sharks in Gasby, like wind direction, currents, depth and distance from the highland. Thank you so much for the attention. Any question?